Party Kids! Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Oh! <laughs> Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Nonsense be something you wish. SpongeBob then drop on the deck and flop like a fish. SpongeBob Ready? SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. Hi, I'm Sarai. I'm Joshua. And I'm Zeta. And we're welcome, welcome to this week's edition of the Wolf Pack Weekly News Program. Good morning, everyone, and happy Friday. Good morning, Wolf. Hey, you know what? Today's a great day to be awesome. Yes, it is, Sarai, but we don't have to worry about that because our LGA Wolves are always awesome. That's for sure. And that's why I know that all of you are focused on your academic and citizenship grades, so you will end quarter three next Friday on a positive note. That's right. Next Friday is the last day of this quarter and the last day of the school for two weeks. Yes, Sarai, that is our spring break. And some of our wolves will be going on the East Coast trip. Just thinking about it makes me want to do my happy dance. Hey, nice dancing there, you two. Oh, and by the way, you just remind me of our spotlight. Let me guess. It's about dancing. Why don't we see for ourselves? Let's check it out! On March 7th, 8th, and 9th, LJ Middle's dance team participated in the Helix Hip Hop Night. The showcase included a wide variety of groups, including high school and professional studios. LJ's dance team was amazing. Great job, dancers, and a huge shout out to Miss Vasquez for sharing your talents and love of dance with your students. Let's check it out. So the hip hop, the hip it, the hip it, the hip hip hop. You don't stop the rocker to the bang bang boogie. Say up, jump the boogie to the rhythm of the boogie to beat. Now what you hear is not a test. I'm rapping to the beat. And me, the groove, and my friends are gonna try to move your feet. You see, I am Wonder Mike, and I like to say hello. Or to the black, to the white, the red, and the brown, and the purple, and yellow. But first, I gotta bang, bang, the boogie to the boogie. Say up, jump the boogie to the bang, bang, boogie. Let's rock. You don't stop. Rock the rhythm that'll make your body rock. Well, so far, you've heard my voice, but I brought two friends along. And next on the mic is my man, Hank. Come on, Hank, sing that song. Check it out. I'm the C-A-S and the O-V-A and the rest is F-L-Y. students, you have definitely made LGA and Ms. Vasquez proud. That's right, Rico, and I know another group of students who are making LGA proud and their teacher proud. That's right. In fact, let's see what their teacher shared with our broadcast crew. Let's, let's check, check it, it out. out. The recipients of this week's Hala are LGA yearbook crew. Here's what Ms. Chavez shared about this amazing group. Ms. Travis would like to recognize the yearbook club students who have worked so hard this year on top of their regular schoolwork. Yes, and they have done a terrific job getting great photos which capture all the amazingness going on here at LGA Middle. She can't wait for everyone to see what her fabulous team has created. Esmeralda Velasquez, Giselle Lopez, Angelina Orn, Ariana Washington, Kayla Ramirez, Sarai Pachita, Ariana Noriega, Abby Wanowski, 
and Tony Talaro. Thank you for being such an amazing team and making her job easier. Now let's give these wolves a holla on three. One, two, three. Oh! Nice work, yearbook team, and must have us too. We are super excited to see this year's yearbook. Oh, and by the way, the deadline for the yearbook is our last day before spring break. So, if we see anyone from this awesome team with the camera, give them a little pose and a smile. Like this? Hey, I bet our yearbook staff got some pictures of our math classes on Wednesday. Why is that? Because it was Pi Day. Oh yeah, that's right. And guess what? What? We did too. Well then, let's, let's check, check it out. out. Pi Day is the annual celebration of the mathematical constant Pi. Pi Day is observed on March 14th since 3, 1, and 4 are the first three significant digits of Pi. And, fun fact, it also happens to be Albert Einstein's birthday. In 2009, the United States House of Representatives supported the designation Pi Day. On this day, mathematicians, scientists, and teachers hope the holiday will help increase interest in math and science nationwide through instruction, museum, exhibitions, songs, and videos, pie eating, and much more. Let's see what was going on in our math classes. Let's check it out! All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. participated in some of the activities in their math classes. That's for sure. And we all got to eat pie. Yum. Yum. Hey, speaking of pie, remind me that our jokers are here today with some silly pie jokes in honor of Pie Day. Let's, Let's check, check it, it out. out. Hi, I'm Tony. And I'm Yoselin. And I'm Evelyn. <laughs> And we're your Wolfpack Jokers! Why was the student upset after his teacher called him average? Why? Because it was a very mean thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know you should never talk to Pi. Why? Because he will go on forever! Did the math teacher have as a pet? What? A python! <laughs> what is the best way to visualize infinity? What? With a pie chart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Why was King Arthur Knight's circumference so round? Why? Because he ate too much pie! <laughs> what did Pi say to his wife? What? Stop being so irrational! <laughs> Bye! Thank you, Wolfpack Jokers.
because your silly math jokes always put a smile on my face. That's for sure, Rico. But now, all joking aside, before we go, we have another event that also happened on Pi Day that we would like to share with you. Let's check it out! On March 14, over 3,000 schools participated in a nationwide school walkout called the Hashtag Enough Walkout. March 14th marked the one-month anniversary of the shooting that occurred at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. Thousands of students across the U.S. and as far as Australia and Germany stood in solidarity with their peers as a means of honoring the lives of the 17 individuals who were killed in Florida, as well as to protest calling on lawmakers to pass stricter gun control laws. During the walkout, students from different schools across the nation stood in silence, read poems, sang songs, listened to speakers, held memorials, wrote letters to the legislators, and or registered to vote. Our LGA Wolves came out of class respectfully and peacefully. They walked a lap in silence and then gathered in the quad to hear some readings and testimonies. Students at LGA were called to focus on what's your 17. <clears throat> meaning each student identifies 17 things that he or she will commit to doing to make our school a better community. For example, have a conversation with 17 classmates that you have never had a conversation with before. Together we can make a difference. Let's check it out. Holding, we kept hoping they would find him wandering around in shock, Janice Stroud told the station. By 7 o'clock, I said, I don't like this. This is not good. Her husband said, according to WYFF, finally police called us at 1 a.m. and said Luke was among the students that had been killed. Kara was a beautiful soul and always had a smile on her face. The dance studio said in a statement, we are heartbroken as we send our love and support to her family during this horrible time. Berg, age 14. My heart is broken. Yesterday, Jennifer Bloom Gutenberg and I lost our baby girl to a violent shooting at her school. We lost our daughter and my son, Jayden Gutenberg, lost his sister. I am broken as I write this, trying to figure out how my family gets through this. We appreciate all of your calls and messages and we hope and we apologize for not reacting to everyone individually. He hugs, he adds hugs to all and holds your children tight. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. Only one more week left until spring break. Keep up the good work. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye.